Welcome back business friends. In this video, I'm gonna talk about a few ideas and things that you could do to save some business expenses. Who doesn't wanna save their money in business? Who doesn't wanna save money in general? I'm gonna tell you exactly where you can look in your business and save some money. The first thing that everyone should start with are auto pays. Auto pays are the worst. They are a expense killer. Um, we all have auto pays. We're so custom to auto pays. They've brought a great level of convenience into all of our worlds, business and personal. But I, I, I wonder how many auto pays you have rocking and rolling right now every single month pulling out of your bank account or your business credit card that you forgot about because you haven't gone back and canceled it or looked. There's probably three to five services that are auto paid right now that you don't even use that you forgot about. So go back and look at your auto pays. You'd be surprised. I've done this in my business. I do this actually once every six to 12 months and you'd be surprised how many things rack up throughout the business year on auto pay that you're not using anymore. So start with that. Another good place to look is with all of your vendors. You know, if you're a restaurant, your food vendors, or where you're buying any of your supplies from, if you're a contractor, your materials. You know, a lot of people forget and they're just rocking and rolling and you're so focused on growing your business and caught up in the day-to-day -day that you don't ever stop and relook at everything. But as your business has grown, you might be buying more products or materials from your vendors. So it might be a good time to go back to those vendors and start renegotiating you know, some, of those, uh, some of those terms now that you're buying more or, or just in general. Maybe there's another provider where you can save some money there. Um, great thing to look at, gets overlooked so often. I can't tell you how many people I've had this conversation with. They come back and they go, Joe, I am saving like $3,000 a month you know, in my food cost or my material costs or whatever it might be. So definitely go check that out. Um, and go back to some of those vendors. And also while you go talk to those vendors, also ask them if they have any bulk purchasing discounts. So if you purchase stuff in bulk, maybe you can get a discount, something that you might not be thinking about. And you know, ask them too, can they give you terms like 30 days or can, if you have 30 day terms already, can they push it out to 45 or 60? In this rock and rolling economy right now, a lot of vendors are back to giving terms. That can just be a great tool that can really help out your cash flow and something you might not be thinking about. So a few other things that get overlooked, and I know it's busy and it's hard to take the time to do this, I can completely understand it, but a lot of people don't realize um, their credit card processing, their payroll, their insurance can all be shopped around and, and negotiated. Um, and there's different companies that have better rates than others, just like your insurance company. There's different companies offer different rates, and a lot of times people don't realize that these um, can either be negotiated um, or move to a different service provider um, in order to get much better rates. I'm gonna talk about a few different services that you can look into that you can probably get a much better deal on that you might not realize. Um, number one is credit card processing. Most businesses are taking credit cards nowadays and it's become a really huge expense. Not only is there a rate tied to every time you swipe a card, but there's also a transaction fee. And sometimes credit card processing companies have a number of other fees in there. Um, so there's definitely, definitely an area that you should be looking at and there could be a huge saving there, uh, especially if you're taking a lot of credit cards. Payroll is another one. A lot of people don't realize that, but just like credit card processing, there's a number of different fees associated with payroll. Really something that's worth looking at if you've got you know, a staff of eight or 10 plus employees, those numbers can really rack up and they get charged every single month. So another great place to, uh, to look. Insurance is another great place to look, not only to see if you can save money to make sure you have enough of it, because then that can just cost you more money down the road if something actually happens. But a lot of times it's something that gets overlooked and as your business grows, a lot of times just something that gets overlooked or forgotten about and again, it's on one of those auto pays. So definitely look back into your insurance and make sure you have the best deal there. Some other cool things have happened in the insurance space and if you do have a decent amount of employees, these PEO companies have been created where basically you're able to join the PEO network which is made up of other thousands of businesses that are on that network. So it'll give you a much better cost of your health benefits for you and your employees. There could wind up being a huge savings in your employee uh, health and benefits packages. Again, if you have a decent amount of employees, considering a PEO company uh, could be awesome and a huge benefit for you and all of your staff. Your phone expense could be a great place to look. If you're a business that has a lot of different phone lines or hasn't been something that's been looked at in a while, there's a lot of great, awesome voice over IP providers. There has been a lot of innovation in the voice over IP world and the cost of phones has come down tremendously. If it's something you haven't looked at and have ignored for a long time, definitely another area that you should look. Bookkeeping is another awesome area that you really should look at. You might have a bookkeeper, you might have a few bookkeepers. You might not need to have all those bookkeepers 
or you might be able to cut down some hours on the bookkeeper uh, that you have. There's been some great new technology in the bookkeeping world that can connect right into your bank account, your QuickBooks, and make bookkeeping a heck of a lot easier and a heck of a lot less expensive. So another area that you really should consider and you might not need as much as you have there. And another big area, huge area to save a, a, a lot of money is, is marketing. If you're a business that's doing a lot of marketing, there's a number of different places that you can look. Hey, who's the company that's doing your, your pay-per-click or your SEO for your website? Or is it effective? Are you tracking that stuff? Maybe you can make a move to a better company where you're gonna get a better return on that money. So maybe it's not necessarily a savings, but maybe it can be more effective and, and more productive. Are they doing things now? You know, marketing's changed so much. Are you still doing things that really just aren't even providing any type of any type of results that maybe you can cut out and, and, and move on from? So marketing is a big area. I can probably almost do a whole video on marketing, and, and maybe I will for you guys. You know, comment below if that's maybe something you want to hear about, and maybe I'll do a video on marketing in a bunch of areas that you can check out in your business. All these different things that I mentioned may be very obvious, but when you look at the whole big picture, and if you're able to save a little bit from each one of those services, the monthly savings and then yearly savings and five-year savings could actually be pretty significant and huge. It could be money that you use to reinvest back into your business, put into a kid, uh, your kid's 529 college plans, or pay yourself a little bit more. There's nothing wrong with that or going on an extra vacation. My company, National Business Capital and Services, recently just launched their new services division. I definitely can understand taking the time to look over all these services can be very time consuming, frustrating, and, and and not something that is so exciting to go through, uh, to go through the process of. Um, that's why uh, na my company, National Business Capital and Services, we created a services division, and we actually can do that for you. So we'll look over all those services I mentioned and even more, and we'll come back to you with a whole cost savings analysis plan. It's something that we'll do for you for free, and we'll basically look over every single service that I mentioned and say, hey, you can save X, Y, and Z in all these services, what that looks like, what the total is, and we'll switch everything over and you can keep everything all in one place. The whole point of my company, National Business Capital and Services, is to give you, a business owner, one place to go to get financing to grow your business and every little service that you may need uh, to help keep your business streamlined, run more efficient, and to help you put all your focus into growing your company and do what you do best. If you think that this might be helpful or something you want to explore more, please check out the link below. One of my team members would love to do a cost analysis for you. Again, it's free and we'd love to uh, save you some bucks so you can put all that back into getting your business to the next level. Thanks for tuning in. I hope some of this stuff is helpful. Have a great day. We'll talk soon. All the best. Take care.